Hello, my friends. It is time to prepare a delicious soup tonight for dinner. We are going to have what's called a lasagna soup. And we're going to, I think I'll throw on the name, a lazy day. Because this particular soup will cook for hours. It can go in your crock pot. Or, your, or if you want to do it fast, you can do it in your Instapot. But I think the slower you prepare it, it will give the vegetables time to mellow and to get happy with each other. And it's going to be a delicious soup. I love lasagna, but what I don't like is uh, the preparation. All those layers and preparing the sauce and preparing the this, that, and the other and trying to get everything just right. Well, this is going to be my solution where I'm going to have the lasagna flavors, but I'm going to do it in a soup. And I'm going to do it in a way that does not require all the labor-intensive layering, and it's going to take, taste equally as good. Now, that's not to say that I might not do lasagna every now and then for the family, but tonight is not that night. So, get ready. We're going to have a nice, warm soup. It's cold outside. When it's 12 degrees and below that, it's pretty chilly, and you need something to warm your body. So this is going to be it. Stay with me. Started with tonight's lasagna soup. My pan is, uh, my pot is nice and hot, and um, I'm going to add just a little bit of cooking oil. This is just vegetable oil, just to keep it from burning, just a swizzle. And a swizzle is about a tablespoon. And then I'm going to add in one pound of brown chuck. Now, as I put that ground chuck in, I'm going to break it up. And I'll continue to chop as it cooks. But as much breaking that you can do in advance, it just saves a little bit of time. Because we don't want any chunks in our soup. We want it to be uh, broken up. Okay, that gets that part started. Now I'm going to get a flat bottom wooden spoon. And that's what I'm going to go in and I'm going to chop while this is cooking. Alright, I have uh, washed my hands. And let me get my flat bottom spoon. Got your flat bottom spoon. And while this is cooking, I'm just going to chop it up. Now, this takes a very short amount of time to put together. This is the most time that you're really going to spend is in cooking the, the meat. And if you have some already prepared in your freezer, which sometimes I do, but uh, most often times I'm doing just what you see right here. I'm trying to cook it and then putting it into whatever it is. But uh, when I worked, these are the kinds of things that I had pre-prepared so that I could just kind of throw it all together and it wouldn't take an extreme amount of time. So very quickly, this is cooking. And uh, in the center, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start to add the onion, the mushrooms, the bell pepper, and the garlic. And I have all of these on the plate. I've got the bell pepper, I've got the onion, mushrooms, and right over in there is our garlic. That's added in. Just going to put all of those into the bowl. Everybody into the tank. Now, now, as you know, I'm all about seasoning as we put things into the pot. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add about a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, if you like less, then obviously you can put less black pepper. 
but we typically put more pepper and a little less salt. So I have <laughs> the teaspoon of pepper and I'm going to add in about, because this is a large soup, I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of kosher salt. And you notice that kosher salt at the it's not real fine, but it'll be enough to, uh, to it will break down as the soup cooks. So there's our, our onions, our mushroom, peppers. Going to get all that mixed in together. And I'm going to let that cook for probably a, at least five to six minutes together. Salt, the pepper, and the garlic. And I put the garlic in with this because I didn't want the garlic to burn. Now, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. You can do Italian seasoning, you can do pesto, whichever you prefer. All right, I'm adding in a half a tablespoon of Italian seasonings. Half a tablespoon. And I'm going to add in a couple of shakes of, you know, my favorite pepperoncinos. And it's not there, as I said, to, to make it hot, but it does give a certain amount of flavor in the background that you are not going to want to be without. So, we're going to let those come together and we give it a good stir. Okay. I had a light that went out. I had to uh, repair it in the meantime while you were waiting. So, Let's see if we can uh, add our next ingredients. We need four cups of chicken stock. Now, actually, I'm going to put in extra chicken stock because um, we're going to be cooking the noodles in the soup, and I still want the soup to be a little loose. Okay, we're going to start adding the stock. One cup. Two cups. Three cups. is going to make the fourth cup and I'm going to see how that does and like I said I may add it may be even tomato juice I may opt to add a little bit of tomato juice um, toward the end so I'm going to let that come up to a boil I'll turn the fire up just because I'm preparing this right now and I'm not, for me, I'm not going to put it in the crock pot. I'm going to let it simmer on the stove. Okay, I'm adding one 30, what is 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes, and I'll chop those up in just a little while. I'm adding those with the juice. Then I'm going to add a can of stewed sliced tomatoes with... Italian seasonings. Like I said, I'll use my wooden spoon and get everything all chopped up. And I'm going to put in two cans of the stewed tomatoes. Okay. Now, with my spoon, I'm going to go in. You can do it with a spoon. You can do it. I do it in here because, to be honest with you, I have a white shirt. And I do not want tomatoes all over that white shirt. 
and uh, my apron isn't close and <laughs> okay I'm full of excuses I should have just gone and gotten the apron but I didn't I got started and didn't want to stop so you're in my kitchen I don't want to stop I want to talk to you so that's what I'm doing okay we got those tomatoes in there and I'll chop more and more as we go okay now I'm going to add some Italian uh, tomato paste and this is uh, 4.6 ounces and I need all of this tube notice I'm folding it down as you go it's the only way to kind of guarantee that you get most of what's in that tube out cuts down a little bit on the splatter okay I think that's going to be enough now I'm going to give that a good swizzle I'm going to do a little bit of a taste because I want to see if I need more salt. Actually, yes. It does need just a little. I'm going to put the top on this and it's going to cook for the next two hours low and slow. At the end of those two hours I'm going to drop the, the noodles in and uh, let it cook another 15-20 minutes and then we'll be ready for dinner. How about that? Right on time. Right at 530. How about that? Everybody in my family knows what time dinner is. I have been cooking at 5.30 every night for well over 40 years. So, we are getting ready to close this baby up. All right, see you in a few hours. Well, our soup is ready and are almost ready anyway. I'm going to put in uh, some Parmesan cheese because after all what's better than um, Parmesan cheese in an Italian dish? Must have it. So I'm going to put in about a fourth of a cup that I'm going to stir in to give it a certain creaminess. This is finely grated. And that's going to melt into our soup. I've already checked it for salt and it's good with that. Then the part that's going to get you, I know you're thinking. Now if this is lasagna, you have to have lasagna noodles. Now I did not want to use regular lasagna noodles because that's another reason why we don't do a lot of lasagna because the big guy really isn't that thrilled with um, the lasagna noodles. So what I decided to do was to use some fettuccine noodles. And I'm going to break these into our soup and they're going to serve as our lasagna noodles. 
I'm bringing this back up to a boil because we're going to cook these noodles right here in the soup. And this is going to thicken our soup and uh, if I need to add a few more, I'm not sure just how many I'll need because the recipe actually called, called for actual lasagna noodles. But that doesn't work at my house and might not work at yours. But if it works for yours, then certainly use lasagna noodles. You just break the lasagna noodles up and put them into the soup and let them cook. So I am going to put the top on this for the next 10 minutes. And uh, then our soup will be ready. Now you know with Anytime you're cooking pasta, that it's going to soak up some of the liquid. So that's why I'm not overpowering the soup with tons and tons of noodles. I'm trying to be careful because, after all, it is a soup. Now you'll see over to the side that I have some Italian bread. And what I've done is to sprinkle on some uh, a, Italian five cheese, uh, an Italian five cheese mix that I'm placing on there. And um, I had started out with cheddar cheese and thought, no, let's go with the five cheese mix. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put them in the oven, get them nice and toasty. And hopefully at that point, we'll be ready to serve our soup. See you then. Now, for the last five minutes or so, just because I do not want this to stick, but I do want it to, to bubble, and if I stop long enough, it will start to bubble. You'll see the bubbles, but I want to um, continue. I've got the bottom of this spoon on the bottom of the pan so that I know that there is absolutely no sticking going on, especially since I've added cheese to um, give it that creaminess and to add that taste of Italian and uh, the uh, noodles are doing fine they're cooking and I've got the bread in the oven and uh, it's looking good it's looking good look at that huh delicious so that is coming together very well so I'm just going to continue to stir and uh, I'll check the noodles for their doneness in just a little while and of course dealing with noodles you do want to continue to move them so that they won't stick together a clump okay the noodles are great and uh, everything is good and hot so that when I start to dip this soup out, not one corner of it will be cool. And um, I'm going to check the bread to make sure that it's toasty. Let's get it out of the oven. It smells good. Okay, my little cheese toast are ready. And uh, so we're just ready for dinner. I'm going to turn it down just a bit, and I'm going to start to serve up the plates. Now, so you're going to plate, you're going to ladle up your soup, and then put right in the center some Italian cheese. Are you ready? Let's go. Whew. It's good and hot. Does that not look wonderful? Oh, that looks so good. Let me wipe this off. Clean it off a little bit. Okay, we get some cheese. This is Kraft Italian. Kraft Italian in the center. You get my spoon. Mm, I am ready. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yes. Oh, it's nice and hot. Oh, 
Oh man, this is good. Who would have thought lasagna in a bowl? I love it. So, guys, hate to tell you, but dinner is served. And I am getting ready to go and sit down and have dinner. Have a blessed evening.